Yes, yes, yes. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good day. Good day. Good day. Good day. Good day. Good day. Yes, we are going to Chinatown, you know, dear life. In Chinatown, you know, this is where we're going. You know what I mean? So, we're going into Chinatown right now, aka, we're going right towards the market. You get what I'm saying? So, right now, we're in the gay village. I feel a bit strange walking through down here, you know? I feel a bit strange. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I, I hope I don't catch any, any any strange things happening down here, you know, because we're walking through the gay village. I love gay people and I'm proud of them for doing their own thing. But, you know, I stay in my lane. They stay in their lane. I stay in my lane. But, you know, gay people, are some of them, some of them are some of the funniest set of people that you will ever meet and the nicest. They're just like anybody else. They just choose to do things different, which everybody's got their own rights. Everybody make their own destiny and all that kind of thing. So that being said and done, we're in the gay village, as you can see, that big sign over there, you can't go wrong. That's the village. And you see the pride sign on it there. You know, that 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 colors the rain color 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 sign there. You know, that tells you one thing. So this is where we are, Chinatown, aka the gay village in Birmingham. Before we go any further, please, 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 please hit that subscribe button. You know what I mean? So we're gonna give you a little walk around right now as you can see later on down here is going to be heaving down here is going to be mad busy down here is going to be packed up you know what i mean because you've got the lesbians and the gays and and the straight a bit of mix come down here to party which is a nice party spot but i don't really come down here because town is a bit expensive for one i cannot park down here and for two i cannot afford drinks down here and for three it's not my cup of tea to come down here and come party. You know what I mean? So, so this is where we are. The sidewalk right there, so. Another nice venue for party. You know what I mean? Then you got all sorts of food down here. Asian cuisine, everything mixed up down here. A bit of everything is down here, you know? So later on, yes. It's gonna be mad busy down here. You know the other day i come to come to do a little set in town by the arcadian i'm gonna take you through there and, and go through the market the other day i came to do a little set down here i spent four hours down here it was 12 pound to park in town man i was crying what did i say i was doing i was crying i think i find i find 11 pound 11 pound something i find and i had to beg the rest you know I had to beg the rest of the money to make up for the fuck to pay the parking. So, yeah, it's not for me to party in town, especially on the weekend. It's gonna be more busier, you know. And this is one of the big spot missing. That's missing over there. That's one of the main main party spots. Gays, lesbian, and straight. Yeah, they go over there and party, you know. So yeah, man. We're in town right now. Big heavy duty town. And lock up your car in a town. People are still car right in a town. I'm gonna put a big lock on them car there, so one big lock. People sometimes I'm gonna switch from the English to the patwa. Okay? Sometimes I get when I get excited I speak the Jamaican patwa. You know? the jamaican broken english we call it broken english you know so let me take you to where i played the other day and then we'll just circle back around up the top up there so let's go through here dragon in nice pub went there once with a little female to have a little cup of wine you know glass of wine as you can see the color of the color of the gay pride right here my man's kind of hench I'm a hench me I can't look at him because I got one pack you know so that's where I went to play the other day you know down here later on the guy that for that pub so bar I say name tell me that he's I should come over there and he's moving the 
the thing all the way out to that space there so there's more room i met him very nice guy for that place over there where you see they're, they're, they're extending the building so he said he's got an extension and he's putting it all the way out there where you see that brown bit of it you know so later on this is the party spot this is arcadian you know this is where later on it's all gonna happen it's all gonna go down if it's not happening here it's gonna happen up on broad street okay broad street where it's gonna happen later on you know so there's down here that carries the party swing and then there's the arcade there's the um broad street so this is where we are at the minute you know I mean? that's the place i went to do a bit of dj the other day you know what i mean so very nice very nice you know very nice we can go through there and go to the market but i am going to go back up here and then circle back around so you can have an idea of what chinatown in birmingham looks like if you've never been to chinatown you know what i mean there's a nice hotel through there there's a nice hotel i don't wonder what happened to this place how come nobody's in there it's normally open or people is in there it's just it's just not busy so you got a nice hotel around there sure level three car park pay station oh this is the hotel apartment suite so this is the hotel here where you can get apartments to rent you know you go around there there's nice apartments where you can cook in there you can you can do everything in there you know it's like a little a little house a little studio you know some of them are one bedroom some of them are two bedroom you know and you go around there you come to birmingham and you rent one of them and then you, you, you when you're drunk you can just easily rock upstairs you know when you get drunk from down there which is down there three places four five places you can go so there's this one right here right there's this one there's that one across the road there's that one where that white building is there's that one over there and then there's this one so there's five of them you know what i mean so when you get drunk from down here when you're partying down here you get you get drunk you go back to your room you order some food and you'll be all right you yeah? know so yeah Let's have a little gander. We can go through this place actually around here. Let's go through this place around here. I'm sure I've taken Chinatown before. Look at that Chinese, Chinese lantern. You see the Chinese lantern in the distance there? There you go. Chinese lantern in the distance. Yeah. So yeah, nice place to come for the weekend. Enjoy yourself. There's restaurants here. You know, the theater is here. This is the theater right here. Comedy shows. Oh, bloody hell, I nearly dropped. Comedy shows. Oh, that's pretty in there, isn't it? In there is beautiful with all them little red rows. Oh, that's nice. Oh, when I get money one day, I'll come down here. Nice flooring as well. You know, very nice, no? Oh my God, it's in there, it's beautiful. If you see it close up and personal, not through the camera, you will see what I'm talking about. It's beautiful in there with the little red rose on the table. Whoever come up with that is a good idea. It stands out. The red rose make it stands out a bit. Plus the cream, the cream all over. The little red rose is a special touch. I like that. Can you see? Yeah, it's very nice. Very nice. As I says, please. I keep on not watching where I'm, at, where I'm stepping, you know. I swear I missed a step about five times. I've seen a guy that I just know that plays, that plays domino with me, you know? Some people don't want to be seen on camera, especially when they're doing a certain amount of jobs, when they're doing a certain jobs, because some people find certain jobs degrading, you know? I used to work there used to work upstairs there in the kitchen there's a kitchen upstairs that's a pub downstairs i used to work there until the guy that i used to work there with he went to jamaica one one for, for two weeks and he left me in charge may i cook the shit out of the kitchen everybody starts sending me up tips compliments he never got that when he come back from jamaica he heard what happened 
that I take the most money and all that kind of thing. And then he got upset with me. So I end up, I end up just have to just leave, you know? I end up had to leave. But such is life, you know? You learn, you learn, you learn how some people is. Because when you're in certain environments, some people will kill you down because they don't want to see you get a rise or they don't want to see you get a pay grade or, or, or stuff like that. They want to keep you at a level, you know what I mean? But I was there and I do my thing and they was recognized me for it because they're saying, oh, I cook better than him and all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? And, and, and that was it. So I end up just had leaving, I just leave, you know, because I couldn't take the bad energy. And it was my own coin that I was working with. I was working with a black guy, you know? So I end up have to just leave, you know? It's a bad energy, mate, bad energy. You don't want to be where bad energy is. Bad energy and good energy will never work out. Good always prevail over, over evil. Should we go down there? We could go down there and go to the market because that's where I wanted to show you the market. But we also can take a walk up here because obviously, this is the gay pride area, you know? This is the gay pride area down here. You know what I mean? It's the Hippodrome. If you didn't know where the Hippodrome is, the Hippodrome is just there. You can see in the distance the sign. You know, that's the Hippodrome. So they're fixing up down here, you know, making down here look a bit different, you know? for people of all race creed color all sex you know so that's what they're doing down here so i could go and chew up there and walk up to broad street but it's not today for broad street i gotta give you one nightlife once you follow me i'm gonna start doing areas in birmingham you know what i mean i'm gonna start different different areas in birmingham so you can give me a follow and subscribe so I, and turn off the notification bell so when I do upload you can see what's happening you know what I mean because some people never been to Birmingham and they would like to see what Birmingham is all about you know as you can see it's not busy like London you know Birmingham is quiet for me Birmingham is quiet very very quiet and this is why I like Birmingham you know you can breathe in Birmingham London I feel like I can't breathe because there's too much people feel like London is like overpopulated you know there's a nice building again where they have music on the weekend you know they have music there on the weekend and then if you go up the top up there you also got clubs up that side as well you know what I mean the train station is just up here you know, New Street Station is just up there. You understand? So yeah, this is where we are at the minute. As I said, I'm going to take you down to the market because I like going to the market. You know, for me, the market is something that I used to go to when I was younger. I used to sell in the market. You understand? So I find the market very in interesting and very exciting. You know? I used to, when I was back home in Jamaica, I used to sell things at the market. My auntie used to send them some old clothes from America, you know, and we used to go and sell them. And she told us that it's new clothes. It wasn't no new clothes. It's like she got them from the charity shop and put them in couple barrels and sent them to Jamaica. And says, oh guys, I've sent some barrel home. You guys can go to the market and sell it, put the money in the bank and send it back to Canada, you know, cause she was in Canada. You understand? One day she sent down me a school bag and I hide. She sent me a school bag. I wear the bag one day and I hide it for the rest of the year. It's like the start of the year. It was January. I was going back to school after Christmas. And she sent me a school bag. Me and my brothers. And the school bag which she sent me. Mate, you want to see it? Looks like a bag that they use to sweep the street. You know? But I wouldn't say it's the thought that counts. Because she could have done better. You know? She's just one of them people that... I think is selfish and I don't really like selfish people you understand she could have sent on some nice bags as I said look like she go to charity shop because I hide the bag for the rest of the year and carry my books in my hand that's how bad the bag was you know people see me with the first day and laugh after me ask me where I get that bag from so 
if I didn't come up here, I would have come out down there because it's the same area. You understand? That's the same area down there. I could have come out and just gone into the market where you see that overhead piece hanging over, that little shelter hanging over. As you see, it's a Edge Boston street car park. So where you see them glass bits down there, let me give you a zoom, where the glass bits down there, I could have gone through that area and go into the market and give you both sides because that's the market down there in the distance. But over here now, you've got TK Maxx, which take you up to the bull ring, take you inside the bull ring. So basically this is just the bull ring because it's one big shopping mall. You understand? This is what they call the bull ring. As I said, there's the market. We're going to go down there, have a little stroll in a minute. You know? We're going to have a little stroll in a minute. Down there, take you to Edge Boston. That way, take you back to Edge Boston. You know, Cottridge, all them places. You understand? And then that side over there, as I said, that's the market. And there's Dig Bet Coach Station down that way as well, where you could get the coach to London. Liverpool, Manchester, anywhere you want to get a coach to, you go in that direction. It's just beyond there, the coach station is. And then you got the college, you also got the college. You know what I mean? So, mate, there's a lot up here to see. Not gonna lie to you, there's a lot. So as I said, TK Maxx is there. Then next to TK Maxx, you have the train station. You know, when I come back, I'm just gonna walk down there and go to the market, as you can see what that says bullring market down there so it's one big area bullring you understand so yeah so i'm just gonna show you i'm just gonna show you the um, train station Oops. didn't somebody told me that i was holding the camera down because i have to have the camera at an angle so people don't think you know, people don't like it in their face. You understand? You're holding it up in the ear. People don't like that. So sorry if I'll, my camera skill is a bit poor. You understand? Camera skill can be a bit poor at times. Because sometimes I don't want to look through the camera. Make people see. See that I'm looking through the camera exactly. You know? So that's the train station over there. Can't miss it. That's the train station. So that's New Street Station. Yeah. All trains come in there from London and everywhere. You know? As you can see the sign there as well. Where you see Bullring on the side of the building. As I told you before, this is one big shopping area. Okay. And this goes all the way up. As you can see, it goes all the way up. And then it goes over. And then it carry on through there and goes through TK Maxx and gone through the New Street Station and gone up to the Bull. So the Bull is just behind that uh, uh, Odeon. See where that Odeon is? That's where the Bull is. You understand? So yeah. Day life in town, man. Look at Bentley. Nice, isn't it? Very nice. So yeah, you can't drive up here either. Only certain people can come up here. <laughs> <You're> okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. <laughs> so only people, only certain taxis can come up here, and certain special cars can come up here. I don't know, but no, I don't know. It's all taxi and buses can come up here. Because I tried to come up here once and I got a ticket, and the sign says taxis and buses only. You know except buses taxis and cyclists you know that sign in the middle tells you what can go through there so if you're not a bus you're not a taxi you're not a cyclist you cannot go through there you know what i mean you have to spin around and go back down like where that car just spin around there can you see where them cars spinning around that's the only place you can drop off and spin around and then go back down that way because if you go up this way you're going to get ticket definitely definitely gonna get ticket if you go up this way so you don't want to go up this way you know what i mean but i do like town i'm not gonna lie to you i do like town town is nice one day i will give you maybe as i said if you follow me the next time i'll go through the market good not through the market 
next time I go through the New Street Station and then once I go through New Street Station I'll give you a tour inside New Street Station to where the bull is you know so I'm gonna do that for you on next day so as I said that's why I'm asking you to follow me so you can see it for yourself you know what Birmingham is like you know what town is like bullring is like so I'm not gonna go through there I'm not gonna go through there I'm gonna go back down towards the market and then I can show you what the market is like okay I don't know people is looking at me strange let me see do I look strange I don't think I look strange do I do I look strange I don't think so. Nice worship. So right now, I'm gonna give you a little drop. to do a little stop there a while ago because that guy the, in the, the guy in the hat he's always begging begging people money the guy in the hat is always begging people money and look how he dressed clean clothes clean shoes clean everything yeah and he's just got this habit where he just beg people literally beg people you can tell that he's not homeless you know so he's just continue continue begging begging Clean, clean shoes, clean pants, clean jacket, clean hat. See, I don't know if it's a, if it's a, I don't want to say, um, what you call it, but, and and what you call it. Look at him begging. Look, look. He used to come to one of the pubs where I DJ, and to be honest with you, where I DJ, he used to come there, and sometimes people put down their drinks, and he just picked it up and drink it. I don't know if he's. I don't think he's ill because he know what he's doing. Do you understand? He knows exactly what he's doing. And I've seen before, when he gets the money from people, he takes it and he goes into the betting shop. You understand? He takes it and he goes into the betting shop. But each to their own, you know? Obviously people, if they come out and they can beg you a pound and they can, they know exactly what they're doing. People that don't know what they're doing, they stay inside and they end up in mental institution. You understand what I'm saying to you? So if you can come out and you can put on your nice clothes and you dress up and you're walking and you're looking at people in their eye and you're begging them money, you know exactly what you're doing. You understand? I don't think it's an obsession of him doing it. I think... I think some people are just lazy and they decide to just beg, you know, because look at him, he's strong, you know, strong guy, you know, healthy, don't look like he's nice here cut, and man's just begging all the time, begging all the time, them thing upset me, you know, because to me he's just lazy and he don't want to work, you know, look at him going into the betting shop, this is what I'm saying to you, he got in there now, if he goes in there, begs, you get what I'm saying? Bagwan well, General. Yeah man, bless up my general. Guidance, yeah? Yeah, so we at the market right now. You understand? We at the market. I'm sure I bring you down to the market as well before. You know? I'm sure I bring you down to the market before. But yeah, we at the market right now. You know what I mean? No longer don't see Timberlands. You can tell my man just clean his Timberlands, you know. It's still a bit wet. You know? So up the top up there is where the bull is. Now let me walk you up there and then we can come back down because at the end of the day, I'm showing you around. So might as well I show you as much as I can. So the next time you says MK, you done that already. You know? So Let's go to this side, but this side is much busier. I'm gonna walk you up towards the bull, where the bull is. You know? I see I'm gonna walk you up to the bull so you can have an idea. 
Browns. Nando's in front of you. Yeah. Nando's in front of you. Yeah. Pizza Hut. So I could go in there and that takes me into the bull into the bull ring. You know, as I seen. That's it there. And I mean the church is there. You know. And then you got the market down there. Okay, we're gonna come back down in a minute. So let's go up so I can show you the bull. The boom 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 show you the bull and give you an idea of when you're walking around next time and you do come down here you don't get lost you said mm, mk did show me that this is the way to go you know i could have walked around there because some people can't take the stairs so some people just walk around you know i'm gonna give you an overview i'm gonna go with the timberland crew you see the timberland crew that's the Timberland crew. Four of them wearing three of them wearing Timberlands. So up there is where the bullies. I'm gonna go. So as you can see, that's the market as I said. That's the church down there. And over there, we got down there the coach station. And, and you've got big bed party party capital down there as well where you can go and party you know and then you've got the bull ring as you can see you know? all of that is the bull ring all, all of that see as i said the next time i will take you into the shopping area so you can have an idea of what inside here looks like you know, you got every single shops in there. Tamil figure, you know, Louis Vuitton, Prada, all the shops. You know? So let's have a go up the hill. Let me go show you the bull. And as I said, maybe next time I will show you a different section of inside the ring. But as I said, some people as well don't like being on camera. So where you see here. This is one way you enter inside. This is one way where you enter inside in the bull ring. And then you've got the next side over there where you enter the bull ring as well. So, as I told you, that is one big massive building. You know, as it says, doors, doors everywhere to enter inside. You understand? So, this is where we are at the minute. This is a good little exercise for me because yesterday, I tried to do a bit of exercise and I couldn't I couldn't do three push-ups. I couldn't do three push-ups. So yesterday was a challenge for me. Trying to do a few push-ups. So this is a good little exercise for me. Oh sweet Shabadinaya, I'm tired already. You know? And then like I don't know, you Oh my god. I don't think that girl wait to have a next baby you know she had a little little one in the pram and she had one in the belly oh my god she didn't wait at all they look like six months six months or so apart you know there's the bull there you never know where the bull is that's the bull there you know there's the shops there timberland there's another side as well where you can go in from this section here where you can go in from here to into the bull ring again as you see i told you there's loads of shop there's timberlands you know so there's loads of shop in there that's your bull there okay so don't say mk never show you the bull okay so there's fixing up another building up there because i think it's affected by water or something that affected you know so yeah this is where we at as you can see this is the bull ring for you that's the bull ring for you mate you can't say i never show you the bull ring
thousands and thousands and thousands of people come through here every day, man. Thousands from out of town. Thousands and thousands of people come through here every day. Okay, so this is Birmingham Town Centre. You know? The Bullring, aka the Bullring. Now there's so much places I could take you, but we can't I can't do it in one day, you know? So I'm trying to give you a little bit today, maybe a little bit tomorrow, a little bit the next time. You understand when you go through there you got more street station just beyond just behind that building there, you got Moor Street Station. That's the next train station. Okay? Because you got you got New Street, which is the big one, and then you've got Moor Street, which is the small one. Okay, only a few trains run through Moor Street. Maybe Chilton train and I think Midlands run through there. But I definitely know that Chilton runs. Chilton runs through there, you know? I hope my mouth look not that dry. Because sometimes when you're outside in the cold and you don't lotion your skin, me as a black man, you know, you get very dry very quickly. Little nutrients suck out of your skin. You know? I need to find a mirror to look into. You know, this is remind me of London, you know? You know, everybody walking now, this is London. This is how London is. You have to be ducking and diving out of people's way. You know, you have to be moving left and moving right. You know, you can't just walk straight, you know, because once you're walking straight, 10, 15 people are coming towards you and you have to pick your position where you're staying or where you're going. You understand? So this is it. But Birmingham is very, very nice. Very, very nice. You know? Very nice. You have some beautiful, beautiful set of people in Birmingham. Very nice people. There's nice people everywhere, but, you know, I haven't seen all ugly people in Birmingham from a move up here. I have not seen any ugly people in Birmingham from a move up here. Let me show you. Around. So, if I walk it this way a little bit, instead of going up that way, <laughs> take my thing out, you get me? <laughs> let me see, let me see. <laughs> take my thing, Ricky all right, Vintage. Richie. All Local on there, artist. my brother. Isn't it? What's your name? Ricky Vintage. If Ricky you're not from Birmingham, you'll know my name. If you're from Brom, you know who I am. <laughs> you get me? Ricky What's Vintage. Instagram. My Instagram is Ricky Vintage 0121. Go and check it YouTube. out. Okay. Yeah, Ricky Vintage everything. And if you go into HMV, my yeah. mixtape CDs in HMV for 12 99 You get me? My Support my thing and shout out my brother. You get Say me? Come on, love Ricky. <laughs> so that's Ricky there. Yeah, yeah. Can I get him? Of course you can, bro. What's your Instagram? What's, yeah. you, what's your YouTube? For YouTube? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, for go follow my guy. What's your YouTube channel? MK Malcolm coming in. MK. Oh, free ZK, free, free M charge <laughs> and that, yeah? Don't have to be on shit. Yeah, bop, bop. <laughs> Say no more, respect. So, as I was saying to you, as I said, it's nice like that when people acknowledge you, you know, like in a sense where they don't think, oh, don't put your camera on me or something, you know what I mean? So, indeed, when we heard the guidance, even, and whether the people of the Lord shall have moved in, either of a decrease in the reward of his purpose or an increase So, that's what I'm doing right now, give you a little walk up. And some of us are Muslims who have submitted to Allah, and some of us are disbelievers. You know what I mean? As you can see in the distance there. That's why we're just walking up at the minute. So we're gonna walk you to the top and maybe walk you back down if everything's okay. You know? Have to just be careful with the camera because as I said, people don't like it in their face. You understand? But yeah man, as I said, thousands and thousands of people come through here every day, fam. Every day. All set, all nations. I got a job with 
All race, all nation come through here every day. Sometimes when I come to town, I think there's nobody left in their house because there's so much people. This is only Friday evening. This is not Saturday. So imagine Saturday. Oh my days. When Saturday comes, it's a different kettle of fish. You know? As I said, tomorrow when people come into town, because people come into town from Friday night and they will stay in the hotel. They will stay in the hotel till later on their party and then they get up tomorrow again and then they will come into town. You understand? So once they come into town tomorrow, it's a different, 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 different vibes in, in town. You get me? There's a tram there. It's nice, isn't it? Nice music. I wonder if I should just walk you up to the top. Oh my god, I've come far, you know, only come to do the market. And I've come very, very far. Alright, let's go up to the let's go up to the top. So that's the next section again where you can walk go inside. Where you can walk go inside the bull ring. As you see there. gonna take you all the way up to the top there's the upper shop if you didn't know where the upper shop is that's where the upper shop so the upper shop is just behind this point here that's the upper shop so that's the upper shop that's in town yeah so now you know where the upper shop is that's it that big building there that's the upper shop so right beside HSBC right beside HSBC, across from HSBC, that's the upper shop, okay, where you see all these barriers here, see, that's the upper shop there, see, that's where we're coming from down there, see down there, that's where we just come from, so I think there's a sale going on in this shop here, you know, so let's go for a walk up, you know, this is why I like come to town, but as I said, town is expensive. You know, sometimes poor people, the poor people them that come to town, they only come into town to work because poor people like me, we don't come into town because we can't, we can't afford what's in town. You understand? We might come in here for a one jeans or a one top on payday, but that's about it. You understand? People basically come into town here to shopping because obviously Bullring is a shopping area. You know, imagine that bud shit on me. Oh my God, I would be screaming if that bud shit on me. So as I says, the Bull Ring is a shopping destination. Tourists come in here, have a look. You know, the Bull is a landmark, as they said. You know. So yeah, I've come a bit far though. Not gonna lie to you. You see what I do for you? I swear. And for myself to be honest because i'm trying to build my platform i'm trying to build my page so i'm doing it for both of you both of us 50 50 which we share the blame 50 50. You know? so i'm just gonna show you the top up there and then we're gonna quickly make our way back down you know? why i like it up here because i like looking coming up here because there's a little water uh, fountain i can't remember what's this place called up here but it's another landmark as well and birmingham library used to be up there until it moves i could run one of these little thing you know juice stall you know I could run one of these little juice stalls it's very nice no little generator as well run his blender and all that kind of thing so yeah 
that's new street station down there in the distance down there's new street station again new street new street station is quite big it's massive but i say it's massive it's massive you know but as i said i come up this far so if i carry on up the next the next probably hmm the next probably 100 steps that takes me on to the bull Road, um broad street the next 100 step will take me on to broad street you know and that's it but as you can see it's under reconstruction i don't remember what that lady is lady name is if you anybody remember put it in the comment section that lady that landmark where the lady is she has a name i can't remember what her name exactly is but she's got a name that lady there the sign the lady that's sitting down basically lying down or whatever she's doing you know she has a mark and that place is called something I exactly I can't remember what that place is called. that big building there you know but yeah we could go that way to go up there but I'm not gonna go up there or you could go that way normally there's water running down there's normally water running down so you can see it's under construction it's under construction you know but there's the lady there so normally that fills with water and then the water run comes down sometimes you have kids and stuff playing in it you know what i mean there's a post office over there one of the main post office in town you go there to get your fingerprint done get your photo taken and all that kind of stuff you know so that's where we're gonna go back down there's nando's here as well Nand another nando's so greg's over there you know so we're gonna go back down as i said we've come a long way a long way okay okay so if i did come to town i was gonna say i should read up on town more because i would have known what the lady name and the building but because as i says i don't come to town then sometimes when you don't do something there's no need to but it's good to get information because information is always good and i could have told you what it is if i did get the information but such is life you know you we're not gonna know every single thing you know we're not gonna know every single thing i could still know it and not remember what it's called you know but yeah As it says, no one is perfect, so I'm not going to make excuses, you know, but knowledge is power, right? All right. So we're going to go back down as we just come from that past that little star there. We're going to go back down. time I could have ride a bike put my camera on it next thing you know I run over somebody told somebody try and sue me They'll probably take the pants off me you know you can tell some people already come from come down and they're tourists into Birmingham and they're just coming for a little walk because sometimes you can tell the tourists them you know when they come from out of town you know you actually could tell the tourists them when they come from out of town I think them three women there are tourists from out of town. You know? But yeah, up there, sir, as well. Take you up to Pigeon Park. There's a park up there called Pigeon Park that takes you up to Pigeon Park. You know? Why it's called Pigeon Park? I think there's loads of pigeons. I don't, I don't know. There's another set of information that I need to know about. You know? Which I couldn't tell you. I just know that it's called Pigeon Park. You understand? So yeah, let's continue down. I hope I got enough thingy on my phone so I can take you down to the market before the video ends. But also, if you got this far and you didn't subscribe, please go ahead and subscribe, guys. Please. You know? I would really appreciate it if you go ahead 
and subscribe and subscribe and subscribe I used to come into town in here and clean I used to do some cleaning jobs I used to do some cleaning job just up there in a building in a restaurant I used to have to go there at 3 o'clock in the morning and clean the place before it opened for, for, for 8 o'clock 3 o'clock in the morning because it closed it closed 12 o'clock at night so once it closed 12 o'clock at night I would have to go in there clean the tables clean the carpet clean the floor you know me and some other people you know so three o'clock in the morning is not easy time to get up you know that's the time some people just pulling the sheet and getting their beauty sleep you know but you got to do what you got to do mate as i said the apple shop is there you know i don't wonder why people are lining up there's a sale going on over there definitely sale going on because they're only letting a few people at a time got some nice trainers and stuff in all oh, closing down store closing down I think those things are tricky, you know. You know, sometimes they put closing downs on the shop to just get some sale out because they got new stock. But a couple more, couple more after they put the closing down sign on it. Couple weeks after, it's, it's not closing down anymore. You know, sometimes it's, that's what they do to to, to 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 gain customers. But the prices are still remain the same. You see, seventy percent off. You go in there, guarantee you. You see loads of people coming out without stuff. Huh? There's a group of eight people a while ago come out without nothing. You understand? But sometimes these closing downs thing is a scam just to just to get money out your pocket. You understand? I don't believe in it because I already know that people told you. They just says, oh, closing down sale. And I'm going to ask the person, is the shop really closing? He says, nah, it's just to get customers to come in and buy stuff you know what i mean because in a day they can take what more than what they make in a week or in a month you know so it's all a scam mate all a scam there's another tram coming down from the top up there you know? mate there's tricks to every trade mate there's tricks to every trade tricks to every trade once people have an idea and they can make money, they will do their best and they will make the money, bro. It's a nice dog. Mate, you know how long I haven't come into town? Bloody hell. I haven't come into town in a long time. Over a year, I haven't come into town. Getting hungry now. Getting hungry. What I've got at home to eat. I've got some barbecue wings that I did last night. So I probably have that with some garlic bread for my dinner. You know? I can't afford anything in town, I swear to God. I must have about 50 pence in my pocket. You no? Know? Must have about 50 pence. I swear today is red nose day. I swear today is red nose day. I ain't see nobody with no red nose on. You know? This punching thing here, as you see in the lads, them do it all the time. Always getting attention with this punching. There was normally a pull up bar in here. You know? As you can see. So carry on. Go up. 
So as you see, that's the punching thing there. Well, kids get gas on that, innit? They get gas. Who can punch the hardest? My man's making a bit of money though. It's a clever way. You know? If you put a pound, reckon a pound to use, you it. You know, and kids want to show their strength. Somebody always want to prove, you know? Uh, that girl eyelash Rotted. my girl eyelash is too much she's got like 10 eyelash in one eye i don't understand it you know i don't know why these girls pull up their eyes now with so much eyelash see mine is making his money now bro it's clever Because guarantee you, if your bridging hit and your bridging hit maybe 560 and you go and hit 570, you're gonna wanna show your bridging that you're more than him in it. So you're gonna go again. So that's another way there of making a little bit of hustle. So yeah, let's go back down. As I said, I'm hungry. So this is the way we came up. We came up, remember the bull is over there. As you see in the distance, that's the bull over there. We came up that way. You know what I mean? Let's go back this way. Let me show you one side of Moss Street, where Moss Street is. I could go through there still. I could go through there and go down, but we're gonna go this way. And show you where Moss Street Station is. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. So down here, you got Birmingham, Moss Street Station. Okay. So there's, I'm not gonna go down the step. I don't want my knees then buckle from underneath me. You know? And here as well, you can't come into town this way again because if your car is not low emission, like petrol, you can't come in here so no diesel car can come in diesel car can come in town but you have to pay eight pounds and nine times out of ten it's taxes taxes come in here you understand so there you go another place is where it's busy people waited for bus because these bus obviously they go different areas so they can't put once one area where just one area where all the bus them goes to they have to split it up so as you see down there, that's Moss Street Station there. That's another side of the bull ring where people comes out of the shopping mall. And if they just comes out there, they go back in that way as well. You know what I mean? Some of them walk under that bridge to get to New Street Station. And then some walk that way to go back up into town where we just come from. You know? So there's different, different sections that you could walk into town busy in it so imagine around here how around here busy and then where we just come from busy as well so as you can see thousands and thousands of people every day mate so let's go back i could walk down there and i could go around to the market that way but obviously if i walk down there there's not much to see down there so we're going to go back on ourselves and then we go down the market that way and then we just call it a day you know so as you can see people walk underneath here as well to get to the other side of this get to um new street station you know and get to different destination here's the timberland crew coming down again the timberland massive <laughs> so that being said and done if you forgot to subscribe now is the chance you could subscribe for me please okay it's getting a bit dark i think it's gonna rain as you can see the, the thing just changed the, the sun just went a while ago from went underneath the clouds oh bloody hell almost going the wrong way the cloud just went underneath the 
the sun just went underneath the clouds a while ago it's because I almost got lost a while ago that's why I'm confused so yeah let's go back down here and then we're gonna call it it's a bit windy down you have to be holding on to my hat She's from out of town as well. As you see, that's where we're coming from, at the top of there. Okay, obviously you know that because you just come down with me on the video. So as it says, that section could take you inside. And then that section again could take you inside. Yeah. So as it says, most people come in here to shop and to eat and to have a look around, you know? But me, I can neither shop nor eat and go back into my chicken wings then. That's what I'm going in back to. My chicken wings then that I paid uh, £1.99 for. You know? And sometimes it's not good to eat out because sometimes you eat out and you go home, you got belly ache or you get food poisoning. You know? Anything could happen. You know? So I don't mind cooking and eating my chicken wings inside. Chicken wings and garlic bread. And so I'm going out for my dinner. And later on, I've got some ice cream that I paid 99 pence for. You know? And that will heat. I will heat that and I will say, thank God, you know? So, yeah. So far, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. You know, thank you very much for watching. Vietnamese kitchen over there. You know? So yeah, we're back where we wanted to go in the first place at 59, 57 minutes. We're back where we wanted to go in the first place, which is show you to the market where the market is. Normally I'll pick up some mangoes, but I said I must have 50p in my pocket. And that ain't gonna get me no mangoes. You know? That ain't gonna get me even an apple. Not even an apple, that's not gonna get me. So you've got the outdoor market and you got the indoor market okay that's where i was in the first place till i walk up there you know remember i start there i start up there that's where i came from and then i walk up there all the top of the top the top of there you know so we're gonna carry on go this way because as i said walk through each stall show you So this is the market, the outdoor market. I think the indoor one, I don't know if the indoor one is closed yet, but there's an indoor one as well. Indoor, where you could go indoor. No, it's not closed yet. So what I'm going to do, if I got enough time, I am going to go through here, show you row by row. And then after I show you row by row, I'm going to go in, I'm going to go inside if I got enough TV on my phone, you know? So no point me going around there, there's nothing there. Then you got fabric. Mm -hmm. If you want to make a new dress or anything in your fabric stall, you could come down here, get some fabric. All type of fabrics. So every type of fabric. And then they got the cheese shop. They got the cheese shop down here. They got the cheese. All type of cheese, and then we got eggs. 
organic eggs and all sorts of eggs. Then you got this typical section here, fruit section, vegetable and fruit sell down here. Come down here, get your vegetable, get your fruits. I don't know what the hell is this. I don't know what this. What is this? I don't even know what's that. Zoom you see down here again there's nothing to see down here so I'm gonna circle back around as I says I'm giving you section by sections you know Normally I come down here and come get some planting. Come down here, come get stuff like planting and stuff like that, you know? Any bowl for one pound. So these bowls, any bowl for one pound. You understand? Know Anything you see in a in a bowl is one pound. It's good, good in it. That's good in it. That's why I like come down here, it's pound a bowl, mate. So any bowl is a pound. That's how they sell it down here. And you get good value for a pound. You get a good amount for a pound, you know? Can't complain. So look at it. That's what you get for a pound. Each one of these is a pound. Each one of them is a pound. Each one of these is a pound. You know? So pound a bowl. So again, pound about. So it's not everything that's in a bowl, you understand? You're gonna got yam and stuff like that and stuff like these over here that's not gonna be in a bowl. You know, Caribbean products. You know? Like cocoa, cocoa, you know, chocho. You know, them chochos we've seen better days though. Okra, you know, sweet potato, pepper, you know, breadfruit, pear. <laughs> we got Pierre. So yeah. Yes, brother. Yeah, man. Green banana. Nice fresh pumpkin. Then you got your planting, you know. So yeah, man. It's Birmingham market for you. Outdoor market. I seen a lady that I know a while ago, but she would have stopped me to talk. She would have stopped me and I would have been there all day. You understand? I would have been there all day. So I decided not to say hello. I know it's a bit rude, but I don't want to be stopped talking for the next 30 or 40 minutes. You know what I mean? I'm doing a video. I ain't got time to be standing. How are you? How is the family? What's happening to you? I haven't seen you in a long time. How is everything going? Are you start working yet? No, I haven't start working yet. How is the family? The family is okay. So when are you going to look a job? <laughs> so when are you going to look a job? Very soon. So how is your mom? My mom's all right. So when last you been to church? Last week. So how was church? Church was all right. So you coming to my church soon? Very soon. So how are you doing for money? I'm broke. Oh, it's a shame that I ain't got no money to give you. You know? So yeah, 
let's go into the indoors market and then just call it you know listen to that laugh <laughs> listen to that laugh <laughs> sometimes when people laugh it just make you laugh you know because their laugh is very funny so now this is the indoor market come and get your clothes come and get your carpets come and get anything that you need yeah get your bling bling as you see there's a lot in here mate come down here everything is in this indoor market here suits hats clothes jewelry huh? look at this guy I don't talk much though got Taylor working Taylor down here you get your work outfits hats Get your shoes. Get your outfit down there, sir. Yeah? All work, man. Close. Sorry, boss. Yeah, you got everything down here. Everything in this market. Now, kitchen supply, tools. Kitchen supplies and tools. You got it all here, mate. All closed down there, you know? Lighters, everything. Kids' clothes. All your kitchen supply, garden supplies. Everything that you need is in here. Everything. Everything that you need is in here. Keychains, sprays, car stuff, kitchen stuff outdoor stuff plumbing stuff you know everything is in here believe me you name it mate i've got it cds even cds i can't really last i can't remember when last i seen a cd yeah people remember to subscribe for me okay please So yeah, let's go through and go through the market because go through the next side of the indoor because it's closing up now. I think some of the piece stall and caught closing up now because it's around, it's almost five o'clock. I think in here close about 4.30 to 4.30, 5 o'clock. I think that's the time in here close. You know, phone accessories. Bling bling again. You know, you know costume design. Look at that mask and everything that you can think of look at that falls here accessories this shop sells everything for fancy dress you know when you have a little fancy dress this is one of the shops them that you can come look at all those masks up there crazy nice isn't it See, fancy dress, mate. Come down and get fancy dress. Look at that. Little skimpy thing there. Yeah. So, we just come out of the clothes section. We just come out of the clothes section. Let's go to the food section. Okay, that was the clothes section and, and house accessories and stuff like that. So, now we're going to go to the food section where the meats... Caribbean products, you know, still a couple of shops in here that sell this, but 90% are in here is food, fish, fish, meat. I show you in here before, didn't I? You know, I did show you in here before. Cow skin boy. You're good man. <laughs> so, yeah. so now everybody's rushing. Everybody's rushing to go home, boy. Guarantee you. 
So where is this guy coming from? Is it a storm? Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody's rushing right now. Yes, <laughs> yeah, respect. <laughs> Everybody's selling, but guy just said he saw me on TikTok, you know? So, yeah. Whoa, look at this goat head. Yeah. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> that is very scary. Oh, man. Fresh meat, boy. <laughs> Bagu, are you good? Yeah. Respect. So, yeah. This is the market, mate. You know? Another section again. Yeah, octopus. Salmon. Mate, I sometimes I don't trust some of these foods, you know? I swear to God. I don't trust some of these foods sometimes. So you can see people are closing up right now boy so yeah i'm glad i'm in the market show you around in the market no it's good general easy, easy no man bread shop again this is the bread shop here that's the bread shop get your caribbean bread bun 